Hi guys, EditorX and Webflow are two website builder softwares, but which one should you be using? To help you make an informed decision, I will explain the main differences between Webflow and EditorX and will consider 10 criteria to see how these two tools suck up. We will leave a link below this video in which you can get a free account for Webflow, so you can also try it out for yourselves risk-free. So let's find out which one is better for you. For the ease of use, Webflow and Editor X are fairly complex builders, but Editor X is much easier to use. It has Flexbox based layout tools like grids, layouters, and repeaters to help you build complex yet responsive site sections quickly. In the Compositions tab, you will even find entire pre designed sections you can adapt and incorporate into your own design. Both Editor X and Webflow let you drag elements from an ad panel to your canvas. However, only Editor X will use you position elements anywhere you like. Webflow is more rigid, forcing you to enter the exact dimensions of your elements manually. Editor X has a similar feel to Figma or Adobe X, whereas Webflow shows what elements of CSS and HTML you are using. Designers may pick up Editor X faster, but you are likely to learn more about HTML and CSS with Webflow. And for the templates, both Editor X and Webflow offer a collection of free and premium templates for beginners, although you can also start your design from scratch. Editor X has already grown its template library to more than 40 free templates grouped into broad categories. Webflow offers over 1000 templates across 16 categories. Just keep in mind that only about 40 of these are free. I also find this frustrating that you can only use a Webflow template you have purchased on one size. Many third-party Webflow templates cost over $100, so your expenses can mount quickly if you build multiple websites. Webflow has templates that cost between $50 to $150 each. It's also important to note that only Webflow offers mobile responsive templates, meaning they are ready to go out of the box. And for the design control, one of the major selling points of Editor X and Webflow is that you have total control over your website's appearance, particularly on mobile devices. Both platforms enable you to modify the breakpoints of any individual content element. Breakpoints determine when a content element changes its size or appearance as the viewer's screen size changes. In addition, both platforms enable you to organize content elements into containers and layers. It makes rearranging your content more involved, but it also offers more fine-grained control over your site's layout. One area in which Editor X easily beats out Webflow is collaboration. Editor X was clearly created with design agencies in mind. In Editor X, you can invite an unlimited number of collaborators to work on your site and you can assign user rules and permissions to control what aspects of your site they are able to edit. This is particularly useful if you need to contract out one piece of your design or want to give a client partial access to their site. In addition, Editor X supports simultaneous editing by multiple designers, a feature we haven't seen on any other website builder. You can leave comments on individual content elements and assign tasks to other designers. Webflow does support adding multiple users to your site, but the number of editors you can have is limited by your plan. Simultaneous editing isn't allowed. In addition, if you want to transfer ownership of a Webflow site to a client, you will need to upgrade your plan. And for the transfer, in Editor X, transferring a website to a different user is effortless. This is a critical feature if you plan to design the website in your account and then transfer it to your client's account as you finish the project. It is also easy to transfer a website in Webflow, but you need to be on a paid workspace plan for this. The difference is that Webflow also offers the option to export your code as HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files, and then use it in any way you would like. Using the files to publish your website on a different host is even possible although the export code does not include CMS contents and functionalities. Both Editor X and Webflow offer integrated development environments. You can directly edit your site's HTML, CSS, and JavaScript using interactive code editors. Webflow's development environment is slightly better for in-depth programming, but both editors work well for customizing content elements. 
and for the content management, Webflow isn't only a website builder, it's a fully fledged CMS. This feature makes configuring the backend of data intensive websites easier than ever, something that most websites builders lack. Users can build dynamic blogs, portfolios, and more using a code free backend interface, making building for the web that's much easier. And for the e commerce features, Editor X meets all your e commerce needs as it is a Wix product which means access to the vast ecosystem of 250 apps for marketing, bookings, shipping, and more. Whether you are an influencer looking to sell courses or a small business requiring online booking, Editor X makes it simple to find the right tools for the job. Webflow's e-commerce capabilities are similar to those of Editor X when it comes to selling physical products and shipping. However, the platform doesn't yet support digital products, bookings or paid memberships. Users will need to reach for a third-party tool such as Zapier, which has hundreds of apps to choose from. Both platforms include a variety of payments methods, which makes it convenient for small business owners to quickly set up an online store. And for the app market and the integrations, Editor X offers access to the Wix app market, which provides hundreds of apps to connect and expand the functionalities of your website. You can find robust apps to help you integrate external tools, add marketing capabilities, improve CAO, and pretty much anything you can imagine. The downside is that Editor X is a relatively new system, and not all apps are compatible. Webflow doesn't have an app market unlike Editor X, instead Webflow will use integrations to expand your website's functionalities. Several apps offer native Webflow integration. But suppose the specific tool you are willing to integrate doesn't have a native integration. In that case, Zapier or MakeTaskCon can provide a workaround by directly integrating the tool API to your Webflow website through custom code. This, of course, needs some knowledge and code to implement. And for the pricing, Editor X and Webflow aren't cheap, but both offer excellent value given the advanced nature of these website builders. As Editor X, there are six plans split into basic and e commerce categories. All Editor X plans are paid monthly. Plans for basic sites start at $22 per month, while plans for e commerce sites start at $29 per month. To sell subscriptions with Editor X, you will need to post e commerce plan for $69 per month. All plans come with limited storage and video hours, which can be a drawback for these heavy sites and for videographers in particular. The main thing you get when upgrading a basic plan as Editor X is more storage. Webflow's pricing options are more complex. There are seven plans split into basic and e-commerce options, but the basic plans add features as you upgrade. The starter plan $0 per month for a Webflow subdomain name, 50 CMS items, and 1 GB of bandwidth. The basic plan for $18 per month built monthly doesn't support multiple users and doesn't offer a CMS. Those features require a CMS plan for $29 per month or a business plan for $49 per month. E-commerce plan starts as $42 per month built monthly, but the lowest tier standard plan includes a 2% transaction fee and limits you to 500 products. The plus plan for $84 per month eliminates the transaction fee and offers up to 5,000 products. In addition, Webflow offers account plans that don't include hosting. This plan starts from free for up to two websites. If you want to transfer a Webflow hosted website to a client, you will need both a hosted plan and a paid account plan. Webflow plans can be paid monthly or annually. Annual plans are discounted 25%. So choosing between Editor X and Webflow depends on your business and your needs. Both platforms offer fine-grained control over your site's appearance, including the ability to manually edit breakpoints and containers for your content elements. In addition, both Editor X and Webflow have integrated development environments so you can dive into your site's code. So my recommendation, go with Webflow if you want more features for developers, consider Webflow first if you would rather have a robust collection of development documentation as opposed to what Wix has thrown together with Editor X, 
and choose Editor X if collaboration is K. K's collaboration tools are sold in a separate plan with Webflow, and the Editor X interface is much easier to understand. Other than that, it's up to you. So yeah, that's it for this video. You can check the links in the description. That helps a lot. Thank you. So hopefully this video helped you out, and bye bye.